the first to know in Sempi TV. Ame Getrud Saki Tokunu Atreyi Ramatin Ame du se E nyo anon kwa E na ilim emra E wogana ha E na afi inso O nyo di e A di e di e bebe Famra hon biya E kamye e se A se Martin Ame du di e O nindi biya Na since A special prosecutor Yira kisi a jabin E se no E juma se no De biya Martin Ame du E wo bibi E kafa hon O kanya mpo e kan se Sa special prosecutor E ne office na wo se ye guno Na chief justice E mkwa ne wo tu mi se Obe ti mi ye guno Na chief justice E mkwa ne swa O no e be ye very disappointed In jama ami getu Saki toko nu E nti Martin Amidu E tu le petition E de koma Nana adodan kwa E kufu adomo Nun su di koko pie mu E wo supreme court Se e nke be ti ni A special prosecutor office E no ye mguno because ono Martin Amidu no o moun fa so biya a e wo da office ne so e na fe yin so e juma ono Martin Amidu e babe ye no o biya ni wo a ono e beti ni a ye bi e wo da office of the special prosecutor no e nti ye ngu no na e no e na ye ma ami Gertrude Toko no has dismissed a petition allegedly fad by former special prosecutor Martin Amidu which sought the removal of his successor ki si e jabin from office inti mami e tu petition nou e goui na reason why inti a mami e tu petition nou e to chene nou e ne e ye ye ra martin ami du se e ye ne wawwa pa a on ti a si e na before ansa e na ye beba mami the reason why inti a o tu petition nou e to chene nou ye yusha e niyoma a ye ra martin ami du e jina so a na o se sa office of the special prosecutor nou a o nou E bebe o ke pa e hone e ne ki si e jabin e na babi si na na e no o se mi fa so e ni si o no. O si Mr. Amidu alleged procurement breaches in the purchase of vehicle for the office of the special prosecutor and abuses involving judges and the administration of justice. Additional allegations included violation of citizens' right through arrest and detention Violation of the right to information and improper appointment of personnel to the office. Mr. Amidu also claimed that by arresting individuals such as Cecilia Dapa and Professor Frimpon Watson, the special prosecutor had abused his office in a piece of circulating, purportedly written by Mr. Martin Amidu. He criticized the Chief Justice conclusion. On the matter, he stated, I have today received a one page letter from the presidency with reference number Office of the Special Prosecutor dated 2nd July 2024, notifying me that the Honorable Chief Justice, Mrs. Justice Gertrude Saki Tokonu, has submitted her review of the existence or absence of a prima facie case with respect. To your petition, I was then informed that in accordance with section 15, clause 3 of the Special Prosecutor Act 2017, the Chief Justice determined that the factual and legal foundation of the petition fall short of the standard required to establish a prima facie case for the removal of the Special Prosecutor in the... Yeah, 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 uh, Martin Amidu de san se mwe e koko piye mu e wo ye mami Getrud toko nu akache no in se mwe e na Martin Amidu e sa ye ebe ke kan e de fa chief justice no e ni de main reason why inti ya o no ope se yon go office of the special prosecutor no na e no e na chief justice according to chief justice ni reason inti ya o no e desmesi ye ra Martin Amidu petition no e ni o se de chief justice determined that the factual and legal basis of the position failed to meet the standard required to establish a prima facie case for the removal of the special prosecutor. In the mami editu gase yera Martin Amidu petition na ono edebabe PMU e wone nimsen kayengu of the office of the special prosecutor no. E kamiye se requirement a ne wosen ka imiti e nyoma reasons a ne wosen ka Martin Amidu. Ewa se nko dina sonon 
o o de ba ne nka yeti mi egunu no ma me ne se se nyira so na maten amidu e de ba be pie mo na nim no e na ade se ba akokura mu odun ti so ka se obegu office of the special prosecutor pa dia na oboa enti ma me no adis me si ira maten amidu petition a ye de e ba be pie no anim no eh uh, omo so ko alisa so omo so tutu nyoma gidi 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 e wo pa ye pa enti e be ko ni akoti eh de e ko so ho no in terms of what the new protected party is also doing hello yes sir ako wi ana ti say ama damia do mi ya ba ko jina jina ba bi ye jina ba bi ye jina ba bi ni e mo ko bo ya wo say you for ni bi bre bre na se se ni fa na wo jina yi ama se se ya wa Okay, so Akowa, uh, election. Uh, thank you very much. Okay. Akowa, what time uh, uh, before no, but walk us through and change your general secretary back as a different feed. Why, but me, we say, uh, uh, those who matter in an omu by name, am I by those? Is it those who matter in the party? Yes, the one who matter in the MPP now, Eberhan, the chairman, our general secretary, our hand between a settle into the president, our chairman of the national council of elders, every team, our human heart man, who's so at my Eberhan. For the 2024 general election, the meeting which ended a few minutes ago. The party's presidential candidate as his running mate for the 2024 general election. The meeting which ended a few minutes ago did, in fact, consider the said nomination which forms part of the constitutionally mandated processes for selecting the party's running mate as per Article 13, 3 of the new Patriotic Party Constitution. For the avoidance of doubt, Article 13, 3 
one reads as follows. The party's presidential candidate shall, in consultation with the National Council, nominate the vice presidential candidate. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, I'm happy to report that after the necessary consideration, the National Council of the party unanimously endorsed the presidential candidate's nomination of Honorable Dr. Matthew Opoku Prempe, <laughs> Member of Parliament for Menshia South and Energy Minister, as the Vice Presidential Candidate of the New Patriotic Party, first one to our Constitution, Article 13, 3. This significant milestone marks the completion of the party's presidential ticket for the 2024 general election and therefore sets the stage for the party to fully engage the Ghanaian electorates comprehensively with our message of transformation. I wish to, at this juncture, say something little about our vice presidential candidate, focusing primarily on what it brings to the new patriotic presidential ticket, since he's not a stranger to the body politics of our country. Honorable Dr. Matthew Boku Prempe is a 56-year-old medical doctor, a devoted Christian, and a consummate politician. A product of Prempe College and the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, both in Kumasi, as well as the Erasmus University in the Netherlands. Dr. Matthew Boku Prempe as I indicated, is a medical doctor by training. It was at KN University that he made his first appearance as a leader after he won the position as the local National Union of Ghanaian Students NUCS president, a position he held from 1991 to 1992. After working with the National Health Service in the United Kingdom for some time, he returned to Ghana in 2005 to pursue a career in business and more importantly in politics. He successfully became the Member of Parliament for Menshia in 2009. Ahead of the 2012 elections, the constituency, as you all know, was divided into two, Menshia North and Menshia South. He again won to become the Member of Parliament in Menshia South in 2012 elections, and he retained that seat in 2016. Owing to his passion for education, His Excellency, our President, Nana Danko Ekufuado, appointed him as Minister of Education during his first term. As Education Minister, Dr. Matthew Poku Pempe Napo, as we popularly call him, spearheaded the implementation of the famous free senior high school policy. Under Dr. Prempe, the successful implementation of the government's flagship free senior high school policy saw the country's SHL population leave from 800,000 in 2016 to 1.2 million by January 2021. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, it is instructive to note that Napo ensured that this policy was rolled out within the first year of the Kufuado government when he was appointed as education minister. He didn't ask for honeymoon. I repeat, he didn't ask for honeymoon. It will be recorded that at that time, he announced that he was going to implement the free senior high school policy Many people, including some from the civil society organization and even some members of our government thought it was too early for us to implement the free senior high school. But typically of Napo, he will have none of that. He showed boldness and decisiveness when it matters most and went on with the policy, which is by far the biggest social intervention in the nation's education sector since independence. 
Today, posterity has vindicated him. Ghana certainly needs leaders who are bold and decisive because it is the only way we can achieve results. It's also worthy to note that throughout his four-year tenure as Minister for Education, there was significant industrial harmony and stability in the educational front. He ensured that the concerns of teachers and other players in the education sector were adequately attended to. This therefore confirms that Dr. Matthew Opoku Prempe has an incredible interpersonal and negotiation skills. He's arguably the only Minister of Education in this Fourth Republic to have achieved this feat. Having delivered at the Ministry for Education, the President appointed him during his second term to head the Ministry of Energy, where again he demonstrated his stellar leadership qualities. He worked very hard to keep our lives on. Even during times of unprecedented global economic crisis, when every sector of our economy was virtually in, dark, in darkness, grasping for, beef, uh, for, grasping for breath, we however concede that in the last couple of weeks and months, some part of the country did face some power challenges. But the good news is that Unlike in the past, particularly under His Excellency Dramani Mahama, where he slept in darkness for over four years, Dr. Matu Poku Pempe ensured that the recent power challenges we experienced did not last beyond three months. It's indeed result-oriented, and there's absolutely no debate about that. In recognition of his leadership skills, his contribution towards education in Ghana particularly in respect of his role that he has played in the government flagship program, the Free Senior High School, Dr. Matthew Poku Pempe, we are not surprised that he has been honored by the University of Education in Iba, the University of Cape Coast, the University of Professional Studies, Accra, with the conferment on him with honorary doctorate degrees. In July 2021, he was invited to join the Mission Four seven high-level advisory group, a joint initiative for UNESCO, the Sustainable Development Solution Network for Global Citizens and the Center for Sustainable Development at Columbia University. In conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, if you were to ask me what Dr. Matthew Poku Prempe brings to the MPP presidential ticket, I would say it brings to us a bold, confident, hardworking, result-driven, decisive, grassroots mobilizer, charismatic, patriotic, and demonstrable, incorruptible person. That simplifies who Dr. Matthew Poku Pempe is. In fact, he's a leader with a clear track record of achievement and he shares Dr. Mohamed Bahamir's vision of both solutions for our country that are responsive to the needs, opportunities, and challenges of the 21st century. In this, res in this respect, he complements our flag bearer in many significant ways, and the two enjoy a warm personal relationship anchored in deep mutual respect. More importantly, ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Matthew Poku Prempe has a great working relationship with our presidential candidate, His Excellency Dr. Al Haj Mohamed Baumia. The synergy between these two great leaders on our presidential ticket, coupled with their proven track record and transformational campaign message, will help the new Patriotic Party to secure a resounding third conservative electoral victory on December 7. 2024. Inshallah, by the grace of God, it is possible and we will achieve it. Thank you very much and God bless us all.